Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Scott Kennedy, and I got a quick question for you. When you think about San Diego County, you probably don't think about the country, right? You think about surf, sand, beach towns. Well, today I'm gonna to be taking you to a little country town in San Diego, and that is Fallbrook, California. <laughs> Well, welcome to Fallbrook, California in North County, San Diego. Fallbrook is a little off the beaten path and the downtown area is not on any major highway, but although it's a small town, it has a lot to offer. The community of Fallbrook consists of 36,000 acres and is located just south of Riverside County and east of Camp Pendleton. Most of the area is characterized by rolling hills covered in avocado and citrus orchards. The quaint town center is located near the western boundary. The town surrounds a unique historical district that has become the focus of a current revitalization effort. Hey guys, and welcome to the Fallbrook Village. I'm currently down here. I got my little coffee from the Fallbrook Coffee Shop. I love walking around this place in the morning because it's nice and quiet, and you can look into the shops and check out what's here. This place has clothing shops, coffee shops, restaurants. They have everything. They have the big box stuff, and they have the local stuff too. So you'll really like it if you come down here. I'd recommend it. Another thing you have to realize is that if you are in the military and you work on Camp Pendleton, there is a back gate here at Fallbrook. So you have easy access to the base, so you're close by. Well, each spring, Fallbrook hosts an avocado festival, which is a showcase of the area's rich agricultural heritage. While olives were a significant crop in Fallbrook's early days, nursery plants account for the greatest revenue numbers today. However, it is the immensely popular avocado that has become Fallbrook's trademark product. The Santa Margarita River crosses through the rugged terrain in the northern portion and is well known to the locals of Fallbrook because of the Santa Margarita River Trail. Let's go down and check out the trail. We're at the trailhead here in parking lot off of Sandia Creek Drive. The trail follows the Santa Margarita River for a five mile stretch. 95% of our hikers start on this uh, trailhead yeah. and follow what's the green trail on this trail map. There's an alphanumeric code that you can see uh, as reference points. They are approximately every quarter mile out. You guys don't recommend swimming, but is it illegal to swim? And really the reason why is for one, we have uh, no idea how good the water quality is. Okay. There, there is um, some runoff from you know, agricultural areas as well as the potential of this just urban runoff coming through the storm system yeah. um, could end up in the river. Yeah. So we, we don't recommend people at least swimming or putting their face and ears and eyes in the water. Right. Right. Welcome to Santa Margarita River Trail. This hike follows the shores of the Santa Margarita River and there are over 100 species of animals on the trail. The peaceful riverbanks also hold glimpses into the area's past, including Native American artifacts and relics of a railroad that once connected San Diego to the outside world. Now, I'll tell you what, I picked the perfect day to come down here. It is 72 degrees and the wind's blowing, just a light wind. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon and it feels amazing. So uh, the ranger told me I shouldn't jump in the water. I'm looking at the water and I understand why he said that but it's not illegal to jump in the water. So I got my trunks on, I might get in there, maybe just don't dip my head, we'll see. Today, the Santa Margarita River Trail is protected and well marked, thanks to the nonprofit Wildlands Conservancy. It's a beautiful trail that's easy, with a flat three mile option or a longer 5.7 mile hike to a hidden beach. Well, it's time to talk about the housing market here in Fallbrook. Now, I'm a realtor here in San Diego, so I get a lot of questions about Fallbrook. Why would you want to move there? Well, the one reason is it's semi-affordable. It's one of the most affordable places in San Diego County. And most people move to Fallbrook because they want to get away from the big city. They want a piece of land. Maybe they have horses. This is a great spot to do that. Let's go check out one of the homes here in Fallbrook just to show you how unique some of these homes are. Well, just over these trees, you'll find a great example of the unique homes you find in Fallbrook. Almost all of them are custom made and sit on large plots of land with amazing views. Hey, if you'd like more information about the current housing market in Fallbrook, please reach out to me in the comments below. My information is in the description as well. Well, now I want to take you to a hidden gem in the southeast part of Fallbrook, a 55 and up community called Rancho Maserat Country Club. 
Well, welcome to Rancho Mazara. This is a premier 55 and up community, and I'm gonna show you around a little bit. But if you're 55 years old, and you wanna live in an amazing community in Fallbrook, Rancho Mazara is the spot to be. There's a great golf course here. I'm about to go play with my dad. My parents live in this community. So if you're interested in this community, reach out to me. Rancho Maserat, Fallbrook. Residents of the Rancho Maserat Country Club have access to a well-manicured nine-hole golf course as well as a community clubhouse. The residents and guests can enjoy a heated pool and spa, an outdoor patio, tennis courts, bocce courts, and a dog park. Additional amenities include RV and boat storage and scenic walking trails. The homes at Rancho Maserat are modestly priced and there is usually homes available to purchase during any season. The HOA covers all of the amenities and is less expensive than many other 55 and up communities. If you are considering Rancho Maserat, I'd love to show you around. This is an ideal community to spend your retirement days. Well, there you have it guys, Fallbrook, California. I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please subscribe and I'd love it if you hit that like button. My next video, I believe is gonna be in the Carlsbad Village and that is where I am currently. Starting to make it already. Anyways, thanks for watching Real Estate Shot Caller. Scott Kennedy signing out. I'll see you on the next one.